So our next test is the dissolved oxygen test. And you'll notice that this test comes in a black box and that's to protect the kit from sunlight. So when we're not using it, we like to keep the case closed just so this comparison device doesn't get exposed to sunlight. So we start the test off by taking an ampoule out of the box. And you'll notice that the ampoule is filled with a yellow liquid. And inside here are chemicals that are going to react with the oxygen that's in the water. And you might also notice that there's a little white piece on the glass here, and that's a weak point in the glass. So it's designed to break very easily, and that will come in very handy when we do the test. The most important part about this test is to do the test quickly. So as soon as you've taken your sample, you wanna be breaking the ampoule right away, as you'll see me do in just a minute. And that's because the longer the test is exposed to the air, the more it continues to oxygenate, and then the reading gets less and less accurate. So you'll notice that there are little ridges on the bottom of this sample container, and this sample container is specifically just for the dissolved oxygen kit. And you'll find that the tip of the ampoule fits right into the spaces in the ridge. So when you're doing the test, you're gonna be putting the ampoule in the space, applying pressure towards the center of the container, and you'll find that this little part in the glass will break quite easily. So to do this test, we remember again, we're not wearing sunglasses. You wanna take the water, not from the very surface, but from about a foot down or as far down as you can safely reach. And then as soon as you've taken it out, we're gonna be doing the test. And then you're gonna put a timer on for two minutes. So here, this is a better also to do with a partner. It makes it a lot easier. So here we have our minute timer, which we'll be using twice. And you wait the two minutes before we compare to get our actual reading. So here I'm gonna be taking the test. So I scoop down as far as I can safely reach. And, and since the ampoule is vacuum sealed, once the glass breaks, water will be pulled up into the sample tube. And now I invert it twice to thoroughly mix everything together. And as soon as the last inversion is done, that is when we start the timer. And now we wait two minutes. All right, so the two minutes are now up. If you don't have a timer in your kit, you're also able to use your phone, anything that will time the two minutes. And that also makes it easier when you have two people. So to get this scale out, it's a little bit tricky, but all you have to do is pull from the top and it should pop right out. So the way that I like to compare this is to hold the ampoule between the ampoules on the scale and this way you're able to get the most accurate side to side comparison. So you can move it back and forth and see where you think it will fit best. So I'm gonna say for this one that it fits best between the 10 and the 12 and you are able to take the halfway point. So for this sample, I would say that it contains 11 parts per million oxygen. To put it back in, all you have to do is put the top part in, you do the reverse and then it should snap back in. Now, the important part of disposing of the water sample is you have to remember that the little tip of glass that you broke off is now in the bottom of this sample. So you have to be very careful. So I start usually by pouring just the top bit of water, but make sure the piece of glass doesn't fall out. Now, some test kits have little tools to take the piece of glass out. So if yours has this, you can use it. You can use your finger if you're very, very careful or use your own tool like this and you're usually able to get it out like this. Get it out to the front. And there's the piece of glass. And then I put this together in the little garbage bag along with the ampoule. It all stays in there. And then I can get rid of the rest of the water. And on page 19 of the field guide has everything you need to know about the dissolved oxygen kit. So every, every piece of information you'll need will be there as well.